Hi. I'm just uh, trying to recover from the meatball session from last night, and it's about five o'clock in the morning. Let's go to Bali. I gotta say, Jojo Cardo, what a lovely city. We only stayed here for one day, but this is definitely worth a visit. I wish I had checked out the other temple as well. There's two main temples here. I only got to go to one, but what a fantastic place. Air Asia to Bali. We used this airline last time around Indonesia, Malaysia. Not once has this airline ever been on time, so it's okay. It's early in the morning. I'm just hungry. I just want to get to Bali and eat something. I always wanted to come here, but I think most people are here for the beaches and the beautiful scenery. I'm just here to eat. And if there's nice beaches and good scenery along the way, that's just a bonus. And we got a lot of great food lined up for this trip, so really excited. In some ways, this city kind of reminds me of uh, Kyoto, Japan. It's like you're walking in all these historical streets, uh, very traditional architecture. It's really, really cool. I mean, there's shrines and temples everywhere. Gorgeous place. Look at this. this is the most beautiful Airbnb I've been to. We have a pool. Is that a working? Is that usable? That's that's awesome. I'll put the address down there if you guys want to check it out. Seriously, you can go swimming. This is like a luxury hotel. Kitchen, wow. Another bedroom. Every bedroom's awesome. Yes, yeah, 96. We paid 90, with a swing, this is better than, than in a hotel. It's way better than a hotel. Good job. I'm at a few restaurants this morning and Honestly, they were not that good. And sometimes I get the comment that, oh, you think everything tastes good. No, I do not. Just that when I'm going somewhere, if something tastes really bad, I don't even need to put in a video because it's just gonna be me sitting at a restaurant tasting food that tastes bad. So usually if I encounter a place that's mostly really bad food, I'm not gonna add it into the video. It's a waste of time. Anyway, that's what happened this morning. So we went to two places. They were just okay, especially the first place. Now I was just trying to kill some time before the dinner filming, which I am really, really excited about. Wait till you see what it is. Not really dressed for it, but ah, this is pretty. Jasmina is enthusiastically running towards, well, she was running towards the ocean. Now she's just walking. There she is, there she is. Now she's running again. Oh, look at her. It's like a little kid running towards food. This place is so pretty, especially the rice fields. And um, there's always a ton of kites in the sky. I don't know if you guys can see from my camera, but everywhere you look, there's kites in the sky. I'm sure there's no age limit when it comes to when you can ride a motorbike. Because I've seen some little kids on there, and they're riding like pros. See the kites? Everywhere. And there's also temples everywhere, like literally scattered throughout the countryside. Good morning. Just got done filming the Bobby Gordon video, eating in a perfect, beautiful countryside. Actually, this is the place that Anthony Bourdain went to the last time he was in uh, he was in Bali, which was just a couple months ago. So, didn't know that at all. Came here, and the uh, owner told me that Anthony was was Anthony came here and ate. And unfortunately, that's an episode that never made it because, uh, of course, you know, tragedy struck. He wasn't able to finish the episode. But yeah, that was that was one that really struck close to home, you know, because he was, of course, a food hero of mine and. 
Anyway, it's just kind of eating here where he ate. I don't know. Good morning. One thing I always wanted to do in Indonesia was to go see some monkeys. I mean, I heard they could be mean, they could steal your stuff, but still, I kind of want to see some monkeys. So today we're going to go to a traditional district called Ibud, and there's a monkey forest, and then we're going to some rice paddy fields. Anyway, should be a fun day. Right now we're at the monkey park. According to Jasmina, the monkeys are really strong and they will just grab things. So just hoping it won't take my camera. But I am kind of excited because I am a monkey as well. So I'll be among my people. What to do or not to do with monkeys. First of all, do not panic. So if they jump on you, drop everything and walk away. It's like a, it's like almost like a robber, huh? If someone tries to rob you, do not run. So don't pretend to be a dog, do not run. Wow, that's important. Do not look the monkey in the eye. Oh, well, it's interpreted as a sign of aggression. Oh my gosh. Don't look him in the eye. So basically, a, a human sign of intimacy and trust. The monkeys will beat you up because of it. Hey, a monkey made out of stone. Is that the Sun Wukong? Monkey King? I feel like the calm before the storm, like uh, when you just enter Jurassic Park, you don't see the dinos, and all of a sudden one kills ya. Kind of feels like that a little bit. But luckily we don't have any fruit. Do you have any fruit? No. Okay, we have nothing. We have nothing the monkeys could want. Just in case they want stuff. They're way over there. It's okay. They're far away. Ha, I'm looking you in the eye. What are you going to do about it? There he is, eating something. I'm serious. As I'm filming, I'm not even looking at it. <laughs> I don't want it to jump on me. Aw, they look like they're, they're enjoying their meal. Guys, with some hot oil, that's going to taste a lot better. Trust me. It's true. More yummy. Oh, more monkeys. Oh, everyone's coming. It's like a family meal of sweet potato. Oh, now the fighting fighting starts. Always happens at dinner tables. Oh, not to not to fast shame or anything, but this one is this is a chunky one. Well, I mean, if it uh, if I harmed it any way, I do apologize. <coughs> but uh, maybe lay off the sweet potato just a tiny bit. Oh, it's looking at me. No. Let's look away before it kills me. Literally ate and now it's just food comaing on the sidewalk where everyone is walking. He just yawned really big. Yeah, he did. He just yawned and just dropped into a, a nap. Like, I've never seen this happen before. Like, I mean, people would just be like, go on the sidewalk and lay down and just sleep. Maybe he just went to a buffet, like a fruit buffet. I think, I think so. All right, let him sleep. See you later, buddy. Oh, he's up. He's up. Oh. This guy is at an age where, it, where he just really doesn't care. So I yeah, let myself go a little bit. That monkey jumped on me and this, oh! Oh, cause she had a banana. Oh my gosh. That's how you pay for a selfie with, banana, with uh, monkeys, is with a banana. <laughs> That's the charge of a selfie. Oh, oh, monkey tried to steal his bag. Oh, oh that monkey is. This monkey. this monkey is monkeying around like crazy, <laughs> treating these people as a jungle gym. Oh, oh, the monkey just swung a branch at Ben's face. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 that's King Monkey right there. That's Sun Wukong. This guy ain't monkeying around. Oh, now it's a monkey fight. I feel a little like I'm part of Planet of the Apes right now, except for these guys are tiny and they cannot use guns. They gotta be careful, because sometimes it might be raining, but it's not rain. You know what I mean? You gotta watch out, because these monkeys' tails are everywhere. I think if you step on one of these, Planet of the Apes will come real early. Some poor guy lost a bag. Oh, <laughs> the monkey's just chewing on it like a rag toy. This is what happens to your fanny pack. Just saying. There's some monkeys in those cages. I'm thinking that they're the leader monkeys, and if they get out, the revolution begins. I'm really sad. <laughs> It's, this warning even had to be here. We're here at the rice fields. Oh, rice field terraces. It's just layers upon layers of rice paddies in this very, very hilly region. That's pretty fun. That's a pretty wild swing. <laughs> Yeah! Syria is really pretty. They got the swings over there, which 200,000 rupiah, that's like 15 bucks. I don't feel like that's really worth it. Beautiful, and it makes me slightly hungry.
we're at the bottom of the rice paddies. It's really easy to fall in. I mean, the path is really narrow. I think if one of us fall in, we won't be able to get a taxi to take us back home. Oh, by the way, at the monkey sanctuary, I was attacked by a evil monkey. I'm sure it's the same one that lives in Chris's closet. I went and took, tried to take a selfie with it because uh, Jasmine and Ben both did and they were fine. So I went to take a selfie with it, Cyrillics to it, and it grabbed me by the hair like it was gonna whoop me. Anyway, here's some photos from the monkey attack. Luckily, just pull my hair, nothing else didn't scratch me or anything. I'm okay. But remember kids, don't get close to those monkeys, especially those evil ones. Last day in Bali. As much as I love the city, it's really not conducive to walking. There's really no sidewalk, and you can see how close the motorbikes are to the edge of the road. Yeah, anyway, walking, not the easiest thing in the city. I mean, where do I, you know, it's just very hard to, very hard to walk. Especially when there's cars parked on the side of the non-existent sidewalk, and you only have that little space to squeeze between the car and the oncoming motorbike. Drone shots of the ocean. Oh, people are actually surfing today. These are really good waves for surfing. I mean, I'm not a surfer, but they look like good waves. 